All right, guys. Well, I ended up picking up a SCAR 20S. Now, a few reasons I did that. I sold my SCAR 16 because I had a bunch of rifles uh, that were chambered in, in 5.56. And uh, a while ago, I had gotten rid of both of my Armalite uh, 308s. Um, and then I started doing some inventory, and I realized I had a good amount of 308 ammo. <laughs> And uh, gun guys will always justify it somehow. But at the end of the day, they, they are going to offer the barreled actions for this gun in the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor, which um, I love that round, and um, I like the versatility of being able to go back and forth. Now, right now, uh, actually, high-end gun prices haven't really gone up. Matter of fact, you can still get deals uh, I got this from Grab a Gun for way below market value. Uh, did the ask for a quote thing and got an additional discount, and I'm really happy with it. I put a really, really, really nice scope on it, four and a half to 27 Razor HD. That's a first focal plane scope, and it's got the I forget the name of the reticle, the ERB seven something another. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Um, Anyway, I didn't want to pay for the Tremor 3 reticle. I love that reticle. It's a little busy, but I do love it. Uh, I just didn't want to pay uh, the extra money for that uh, because the scope that this scope may end up going on a, on a different rifle. I'm not 100% uh, sure about that. Put a ear attack uh, base on there. That's a zero MOA. Um, and for 308, that's fine. Uh, if this proves to be a, a sexy shooter for 6.5 which they don't offer the, the barreled actions for 6.5 yet, but they're going to be. Um, and anyway, so I want to take some first shots. Now, this, this thing is set up for PRS, but it's probably not the best option. Um, it is very heavy. Uh, it's supposed to be very accurate. It's supposed to be able to easily impact out to 800 yards, the 308. I don't know if that's going to be the case. They make a couple different versions and a couple different muzzle devices, and I thought the one I was going to get was the three prongs, and it shows up with this muzzle brake, and I'm really, really happy that that happened. I would prefer the muzzle brake over the prongs. Um, shout out to Atlas Bipods. Uh, at one of those rifle matches a long time ago, this button fell out, and they sent me one uh, in the mail. Just, uh, just sent it to me, so that was pretty cool. Um, I can make uh, really good 308 ammo. I can also produce really good 6.5 ammo. I have the components and all that good shit. Um, so anyway, it was just uh, it was a natural selection. I love the way the cheek uh, comb adjusts uh, here. It is a little, you know, it does move a little bit, which it's not the greatest thing in the world. And then the length of pull adjustment, you just push this and it comes out. And um, really, really nice features there. Heavy as hell. Um, now, what sets the SCAR 20 off different than the 17 is obviously the longer chassis. Um, and then the uh, it comes standard with the Geisley Super SCAR trigger. Uh, trigger feels great. Ambidextrous everything. You can move the charging handle to the other side. Uh, be aware of where your thumb is. That thing does move. And um, I think we'll just shut up and maybe start shooting this thing and just see how it feels. All right, no bore sight, no nothing. Uh, just everything's torched together properly on the scope. And uh, we'll see. Let's just kind of see where we... Uh, safety selector feels good. And uh, let's see if we can see the impacts and uh, just make some adjustments while we're breaking this baby in here. Can, got about an eighth of an inch take the wall and I think it says about three and a half pounds All right, that was a good impact <laughs> um, that was cool I've never not bore sighted a gun and got an impact at 50 yards on the first try uh, but there's other there's other impacts on that steel so I'm not sure exactly where let's just shoot another one and see I love the way the action feels on these guns. Um, I vaguely remember my 16. Of course, there's no real recoil on a 223 rifle, but uh, 308's a little different ball game. Let's see if we can figure out where the impact actually is. Yeah, 
I don't believe that was, I think the only mark is just down low about six inches. Probably more than that. All right, let's see if we can see a good impact on the left side of that target. Yep. <laughs> All right, still got to come up. I'm going to go another middle. Rifle feels awesome. Yep. Ah, that's cool. All right, come right. Maybe half, half a mil. And then still got to come down. One. I just don't know yet. All right, let's see here. Is impacting. All right, we're right on it, real nice. All right, that was pretty well center of that target. Now I'm going to be aiming at the impact. It's going to be up. Left. Right. All right, that's right on top of that first impact. So, three more. Any of that? Soon as the target off. You know, see what really nice. is breaking down, you know, really big. Right on it. Right. That last one went a little quick. Uh, anyway, I could walk you down there and look at it, but the group is not as good as it should be at that distance, but they were pretty quick shots.